Hi, this is Avery Pelch for Laptop Magazine, and we're here today with the Toshiba Cosmio G55, and we're going to check out one of the most unique and groundbreaking features that we've seen on a notebook in a very long time, gesture recognition. Uh, so uh, let's give it a start. Well, first of all, we're going to go over here, we're going to launch the gesture recognition software. Uh, Toshiba tells us that this gesture recognition is something that's really unique and made possible by the power of the quad-core HD processor that it has inside. So you can see that a little window has popped up on the screen. This window can actually be hidden, but we're going to keep it there because it makes it a little easier for us to uh, see what we're doing with gesture control. So you've got to stick your hand out so that it's recognized with the webcam. Notice my hand was in a kind of a clenched position. Uh, and a little box is drawn around it. Now my hand's recognized and I can actually move this cursor around the screen. Unfortunately, uh, we'd love to see to use this as we would a regular mouse, but we can't, uh, it, uh, the software does not allow us to just click icons on the desktop when I mean, we can click them, but they don't launch. So we've got to use one of these corner menus that are made just for the gesture control. Here's our launch menu which is going to allow us to launch a couple of different programs. Uh, as you can see, it's sometimes a little bit difficult to get the launch menu to continue to, to appear. This is a pre-production model, and you have to have very steady hands, no doing this drunk, no doing this if you have any kind of wrist problems, you're going to be a little perturbed. On. There we are, sort of. All right, so let's go into our DVD player, which is also able to work with the gesture control. I'm clicking by moving my thumb up and down, and I am waiting for the DVD player to load. It looks like the DVD player has loaded and needs to be maximized, and because we had it loaded before, minimized. Again, a little bit of a challenge here, but we've gotten it open. Now that we're actually in our DVD, we have a pause scene here, and we can unpause it like so. Look at this movie. Ugh. Ugh. Moving around. You can see here is an app menu where I can actually control the movie. I can skip just as I would a DVD player. I can skip ahead to another chapter just by using my hand here. Of course, I had to remain within the app menu to do that. Down here, there's a system menu, which allows me to do things like raise and lower the brightness, raise and lower the, the uh, menu. I can even turn uh, the brightness, and I can even turn on and off the computer from here. Well, I can turn it off. Uh, and you can see um, that we can do that here. Over here we have an arrow menu, uh, which allows us to do some other things. I'm not sure if it's applicable to, the, to playing DVDs, uh, but we're able to keep moving this around, and uh, we could have our gesture window here hidden so that we can watch our movie without seeing ourselves in, in the window while we're doing it. Anyway, we're watching this, and we have to say that the movie is a little bit boring, and uh, we don't like Olivia Newton-John. Uh, so we uh, can very easily say, "Stop! I cast you out," and it will be oh, and it will stop. The other hand, if we decide, ah, oh, you know what? I guess I'll keep watching. I have nothing better to do. We're on again. So. Um, Pretty cool with the gesture control. It, uh, we'd like to see this get a little bit easier to use, and we'd like to see it applicable to more applications. Uh, right now, it just works with uh, some of the entertainment uh, apps here, the Media Center, the Toshiba DVD player, um, some of the TV functions. Uh, we'd love to be able to use this thing with Firefox or with IE to actually browse the web. Um, because, uh, you know, this would be more to flip through photos or something of that nature. So uh, there you have it, and we're going to shut down the computer now.
and uh, you'll notice when you shut down actually that it does uh, unlike uh, usual windows it doesn't ask you whether you want to shut down or sleep it just shuts down which is nice because it was hard it's hard enough a gesture to control to click it once you don't want to have to go and do lots of clicking so that's it lots of potential and we look forward to seeing more of this